Hey guys, it's AK Pearl Films, your source for tech tutorials and more. And on this video, I'm going to continue my Mac tips and tricks series, and I'm just going to give you another Mac tip and trick. So for this video, I'm going to tell you how to improve the performance on your Mac computer and just free up some space. So stay tuned if you want to learn more about how to free up your Mac computer and make it a little bit faster, so stay tuned. Alright, so let's jump into a couple Mac tips and tricks for making your computer run a little bit faster. So let's jump right in. Alright, so the first tip I have for you is make sure your desktop is relatively neat and clean. By having your desktop a little bit cleaner, it makes your computer just run a little bit faster and it won't have to render all of the icons. So for instance, if you have a new folder here and you just name it whatever, uh, when you boot up your computer, it'll have to render this icon and it might take a little longer. So all you want to do is just either organize those a little bit better or just throw them in the trash if those are not really that important. So besides putting stuff on your desktop, you can put them in your dock, which is a little bit more handy and it just makes accessing folders a little bit faster. So just make sure you have a relatively clean desktop. As well, in Finder, you just want to make sure you don't have a bunch of clutter in every single area in the Finder. I just recommend organizing by folders so it won't have to render all of the icons at once. You'll just have to render a couple folders and then they'll just increase your performance a little bit, a little bit, and it'll make it a little faster as well. So, for instance, I organized them by folder here. And then when you open them up, it will just load up all these little icons here. So results may vary on each computer. So results may be different on mine and results may be different on yours. So just be aware of that. So another Mac tip and trick for increasing your speed is an application on the App Store. I think it's free. It's called Memory Keeper. And it might be paid right now, but I'm not sure. I got it for free, so that's all I know. So if it is for or if it is paid, just let me know in the comments so other people will know that as well. So Memory Keeper is a great way to free up some space on your computer. So all you want to do is install that. You can read their description if need be. But let's open up Launchpad and take a look at the app. So the icon is just like a little robot, which is pretty cool. So let's open up Memory Keeper. So you can read about how it works. Or you can just press the big blue button here that says clean memory. So let's just see what happens. All right, so let's watch the robot clean up your computer and you can watch it in real time as it decreases your tasks and make your computer just run a little bit faster. So you can see that it just cleared 184.2 megabytes and that's not so much, but a little bit at a time will make your computer run just a little bit faster. So you can write memory keep right here or you can just press finish. And if it's not up here, just make sure it's on in the application. But when it's up here, you want to go to preferences and you can choose if you want quick or full clean. Quick is just it's going to clean up your computer a little bit faster, but full means it'll be a deep and complete clean and may cause your system performance to slow down while it's cleaning up your computer. I'm just going to leave it at quick for right now. I'd also recommend turning on automatic cleanup. So when you set the limit of free memory for automatic cleanup, it will start cleaning up your computer and making it just a little bit faster. So I'd totally recommend this app. It just makes a little bit of a difference each time, but it's also nice just to have a fast Mac and make it more responsive as time goes on. So you can also choose these boxes down here if need be, but you can go back to the app and close it, or you can just clean your memory if you want. Then you can also check out how much free gigabytes you have, wired, active, inactive. You can read all about it if you want to. So those are just a couple little tips for making your computer a little bit faster. I hope you enjoyed this video, so please comment, like, and subscribe. 
And also make sure to go check out my website, the link will be in the description. And also go check out my Twitter page as well where I post other important updates. And that is at AKProFilms. So make sure to go check those two sources out. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great rest of your day.